The Heritage Centre is a really exciting new partnership between Suffolk County Council and University Campus Suffolk. Um, and we're really excited about this for a number of reasons. But it enables us to deliver a revised and exciting and new heritage offer for the people of Suffolk but based in Ipswich. Uh, and because it's in Ipswich, it's, it's based at the waterfront, so it will be one of the main building blocks of the revitalisation and regeneration of the waterfront. It will be continuing that story of revitalisation of that waterfront. But it will also allow access to a revised archive, offer uh, and heritage to the younger generation of this county, which will be fantastic. And it will also enable us to meet our aspiration for Suffolk to become a digital centre of the UK. So I'm really excited about it. I think it will be a fantastic resource for the people of this county and it will be a wonderful investment to the continued revitalisation of a really important part of Suffolk. I think that the new Heritage Centre will be an absolute golden asset for UCS and of course for UCS staff and students in particular. One of the really exciting things is that we've used the records office for some considerable time. Our history students obviously in particular are very very involved with the collection, they're also very very involved with the, the research methods and methodologies and they train and they work very closely with the staff at the records office. However, what's really been thrilling for us is as the move to the whole takes shape, our other students have become involved too and we can see how broadening issues will really help them. So for example our interior architecture and design students have been working on the plans and they've been really involved and really excited and their efforts have been rewarded and recognised so that's been really exciting too. The New Heritage Centre for me personally is of, 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 of great interest, uh, of professional and personal interest. Um, I've always loved history, I am a historian, um, my research is in modern history and increasingly uh, in my time at University Campus Suffolk I've become become quite interested in local history, particularly the local history of the First World War, and, and the Suffolk Record Office contains uh, unparalleled resources for that, to have them uh, quite literally on our doorstep in a central uh, Ipswich location. Um, uh, I can't wait. Um, for our students, um, they use the record office in a number of ways uh, and um, to be able to kind of expand the, the record office provision through a purpose-built heritage centre is, is great. Um, they use they, not just a kind of traditional use of a record office for dissertation research um, and, and also project research, but our students also uh, have um, some uh, significant vocational uh, skills-based uses for the, uh, uh, for the record office and to actually kind of transfer. Is that we'll have the, the vast majority of the archive in one place at last and I think to have that you know sort of record here literally within walking distance of the university proper if you like will be an absolutely magical treat. Um, the record office has this amazing asset in its collections, their national and international importance. And we know from the past that people have been really interested in engaging with us, and they currently are, through the focus groups that were held this year, and from my experiences of working through the record office for, throughout the years, we know that people are interested in engaging with that. But there is an obstacle in the way um, that is our facilities that we have currently. And the hold will provide us with that opportunity, um, which we, we didn't have before. Our past visitors have expressed an interest in visiting us and in us going out to see them and to share our information and our knowledge with them. Um, and our staff have great knowledge and experience, but um, they can only do so much. So what the whole will do is provide us with that opportunity and that when someone comes to us in the future, we can say, yes, let's sit down and um, we can work through what you want and tailor make something for them. And that's really exciting because it's something I've been wanting to do for so long. And now we have this opportunity, we just need to um, go with it. Um, well, for me um, and the organisation, I'm the archivist at the Ipswich Record Office. So to me, professionally, um, the hold is um, going to open up all the opportunities for us. Um, the Record Office, we 
collect and we preserve and uh, make access to the public, the, the archives and, and the history of Suffolk. Um, and currently, we, the, the storage conditions um, for the archives is, is not, um, not, not, not the best. So we don't have correct storage for some of the mediums that we hold, things like photographs. Um, everything has to be held in one, um, one holding area in our strong rooms. These are also getting full to capacity. Um, so the, the promise of a new building, a flagship building um, with correct storage space is, is, is a dream come true. Um, and it will also help us with the third part of our mission statement, which is about access to the public. Part of my job here at UCS as a history lecturer is also um, community engagement, particularly through schools engagement. Uh, we work quite closely with a number of local um, secondary, secondary schools and sixth forms um, in Ipswich and uh, the wider county. Um, increasingly, we've noticed that um, sixth forms are moving towards uh, more independent research-based projects and uh, you know our, our skills as historians here coupled with uh, the potential to have a, a purpose-built facility containing primary sources on site uh, the capacity to engage young people in uh, the work of researching our region's past uh, is you know I think they're the the, the, the the kind of possibilities are, are immense and um, with things like uh, the mapping Suffolk Stories uh, project, I think we can get uh, young people involved in that, our students involved in that, the wider community involved in that. And uh, basically, uh, rather than the kind of uh, traditional stuffy image of people working in an archive on their own uh, for hours on end, kind of turning, uh, turning this more into a kind of community uh, crowd project in a sense, where lots of people uh, kind of sharing that kind of love of the past, that desire to uh, study uh, what has happened in Suffolk and come up with outcomes which can be shared more widely in exciting and vibrant ways, of course UCS does. Now there's monuments like this across Suffolk in churches and people love to discover more about them. They also love to trace their ancestors and the brilliant thing about the hold is that people can go there not only to see parish records but to view artifacts such as drawings and photographs and so on and the great thing is they can meet their friends and family, have a coffee, and make discovering heritage a really exciting thing to do as part of a day out. So we want to attract new audiences. We, we want to get a different age range in, different um, personal circumstances, different cultures. The, the, the information that we hold here in the record office, the archives, you know, they're, they're not just for Suffolk. They tell the story of Suffolk and Suffolk people locally, but also nationally and internationally. So you can find out, you know, what, what Suffolk has done on the world stage. Record offices can be very daunting places for people to come into. We don't get passing traffic. Where, where we are. You have to know that we're here and make a special journey. Um, whereas if we're in the UCS learning environment, we'll be able to interact with the students. Um, and as I've mentioned before, there'll be the display space so people can walk in off the streets, see some of the treasures that we have. I mean, our records date back to 1119, which is, you know, 100 years prior to Magna Carta. So it, it's this whole body of, of information for Suffolk that is there for people to access. Um, so um, I'm a degree student doing research for my dissertation. Um, the location of the new building for, um, I'm in my final year, so it won't affect me, but the location for the new building would be massively beneficial to the um, university with it being right next to the university for research, etc. It would be much more accessible. This is sort of in the, effectively in the back streets of Ipswich here. Um, it would be much more central and easy to get to. Um, with the library for the university next door as well, you can flip between the two buildings fairly easily, so that would be really useful for research. Okay. Sure. At the moment I'm working on always um, like a film reader, and it's really hard to see and read and squint at the machine, so with the new modern machines to be able to enlarge the print figure, etc, etc, it would be much, make it, I think life much easier as a student. Well, it means that I can access a lot more um, 
documents and easier. There's so much restriction here mm -hmm. and it just means that I can just walk in, get the documents, do the research that I need to do mm -hmm. and it'll just make it so much easier. I think it's because everything is, this building wasn't built for archives and so therefore it's putting things into little corners, different little rooms, it's not all together, there's not a natural flow to it, so it's a struggle, you've got to work out where to go and where things are, it, it's not conducive to good research. New, new record office, uh, as I live in Norfolk of course, we had a new one um, about 12 years ago, after a disastrous fire back in the 90s, uh, in the building which the record office was housed and we've got a marvellous facility uh, there and it would be nice to see the same thing in Suffolk. Well, if you compare the record office that you have here in Suffolk with that that you have in Norfolk or Essex, we're just miles behind and why should Suffolk not be in the same league? as regards to record offices as our two adjacent counties. So uh, we're really enthusiastic. This is really important to us in Suffolk and we are going to need the support of um, other partners to achieve this vision and it's really important for Suffolk. So we're going to deliver this. Um, it would be really fantastic if Heritage Lottery Fund would see fit to support us with this because it can make such a powerful difference to the people of Suffolk and really is a fitting um, tribute to the strategic partnership that we've got with all those other public sector bodies and really builds on the enthusiasm, the energy, the appetite of the people of Suffolk and those special interest groups that have worked so hard with us to get this vision and be in this position. So fingers crossed!